So you're using Microsoft Excel and you've got a couple of different text strings that you're trying to combine into one cell and someone tells you, hey, use the concatenate function. Maybe a good option. If you watch this video, you're gonna find out that there are other ways to do it. But first, I'm gonna show you how to use concatenate. So let's jump right in. All right, so here we've got a very basic data table where you've got a rep ID, a region name, a first name, a last name, and a wonderful little placeholder for a full combined name, which is a very common use case when you're getting data out of different information systems. It's not always gonna come out exactly the way you want. It's gonna spit it out at you in the form that it was probably input, which is first name, last name. Now, if you wanna do this combination, you've got options, but one of the most common options that people like to rely on is the good old trusty concatenate function. And what this does is basically allows you to combine different cell values. So let's just start. In order to do the concatenation, all we need to do is go to the cell where you want it to land, hit equals, and that opens up the function. We're gonna write C-O-N. You start to see it auto fills options that you can choose. And I'm gonna come down here to concatenate. Notice that little yellow warning sign. What that means is this function is not really supported or it's not, not something that is a, a long-term solution. And that should be your first warning sign that maybe this isn't the best option on a go forward basis. Maybe it's time to learn about the alternatives, which is why I make this video for you now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab once I have that selected. And now it opens up the concatenate function. So what do we do? I wanna combine Merrill, so I come over here, highlight that, and then I choose a comma, and I'm gonna choose sheep. I'm gonna hit enter, or you can close the parenthesis, whatever you want. And oh, there it is. And it doesn't have a space in between. Oh, woe is me. Well, that means that we have to input manually our space between these two cells. Not a problem. Hit F2. You're gonna jump back into that formula, and I can navigate between these two. And what I'm gonna do is insert another comma. I'm gonna do a quote, space, quote. What that does is say, okay, we're gonna do C2, we're gonna do a space, and we're gonna do D2. Now I hit enter again, and there it is. Merrill Sheep, one cell with a space in between. That's really what we want. That is how you use concatenate. You can do this with as many different entries as you want. You've gotta choose what you want as your separator every time. It's a little manual. If you're dealing with a couple of entries like this, it's not a problem, but if you're dealing with a lot, it could be a lot. So back to that warning sign, why is it there? Well, it's because we go back here equals con, and you see it brings up concat, concat. This also concatenates a list or a range from text strings. This is the future of concatenate in a way. And really one of the key differences here is that I can go ahead and hit tab. Instead of having to go this comma this, enter, I can also, we're gonna go back F2, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna choose over here to just highlight both of them as a range, enter. It does the same thing. So instead of having to put a comma, 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 I can just highlight a range of cells and it will mash it all together in one cell. If I tried to do that in a concatenate, it would spill out into multiple cells, which basically defeats the purpose. So here we are, we can do that. But again, we have the problem that there's no space. So now we're back to square one. So I'm actually gonna go control Z because now I've got my commas, F2, come back over here, introduce another comma, introduce quote space quote to add my blank space, enter. And that is how you achieve the same end using the concat. It's effectively the same as concatenate with a few minor differences that you need to be aware of. So what else is there? Where else can we go? I've got a bonus for you, and this one is a little less conventional for this specific example, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it as I go. It's called text join. And we're gonna go equals text join here, tab. And what this allows you to do is pull together a string of values with a singular delimiter that separates each one. So in this case, we're only combining two cells, but we want our delimiter to be a space, right? That's the, just the separator. What do you want them to be separated by? I'm gonna go space, I'm gonna go comma, and because we're not dealing with any uh, empty cells, I'm just gonna go comma again. Now I can highlight my two cells here, 
go close parenthesis, hit enter, and we have the result that we want. Now, pick your poison here. It's either you introduce it in between using a concat or concatenate function, or you use text join and you introduce it up front. One of the benefits of text join though is when you're combining a lot of different cells and you don't have to repeat yourself every time, it's helpful if it's the same delimiter, obviously, because that's how this works. Keep that in mind, that is another option, but now you stuck around and it's time for my personal favorite, the one that I use, and it is not a function. <laughs> it's not a function at all. What it actually is, is a good old fashioned ampersand, just the and sign. So if we want equals to combine Keanu and reads, you just do that, enter, boom. Of course, we run into the same situation where there's no space, so then we hit F2, we go back in, and instead of just doing this, we go quote, space, quote, ampersand again, enter, there it is. Keanu reads with a space in between. All we had to do was drop two ampersands where we're combining the things. This gives you full flexibility over how you're joining things together. And it just, you don't have to worry about working within the confines of a function. You just freeform go at it. And I have to tell you, the moment that I learned that you could do this instead of concatenate, never look back. I cannot tell you the last time that I used concatenate or concat. I only use ampersands. And in situations like maybe building a long email list or something like that, where I'm combining values with consistent delimiters, I'll throw a text join in there. Those are the values that I use. There you have it. There's your four options for combining strings from multiple cells into one to help achieve some end. I hope you got some value from this. And if you did, go ahead and give me a subscribe, follow, like, whatever the heck they do on this platform. And by the way, if you're interested in getting more information, I've got a free Excel for Professionals, more ultimate guide. What this thing is, is full of, I think there's 88 different key shortcuts and functions. Uh, you name it, I've got it in here. I've got them broken out by key function area. So like you wanna do data, data cleaning, there you go. There's a couple of functions that'll help you do that. Super helpful, super free. You download it, you get a free printer friendly version as well. Go check it out. See you in the next video.